guys. Well, if you, if you were going to do better, like by going to the bars more, yeah. like listen, I'm gonna I'm gonna really I'm gonna you know it's go more big like, or go home. It's more like if you'd resolved yourself to not drinking as much, you're getting assistance. <laughs> That's right. So <laughs> this this is really sad though because the, so so I much know. of the restaurant industry, the bar industry was hurt at the beginning of the pandemic. We are seeing a massive and and kind of for the last several months, this is unprecedented. Bars having to close because of this new variant that's sweeping through because it's just so highly contagious and so many people are gone. There's one bar in particular in Oaklawn that's decided to close for the entire month of January. They they did like a somebody tested before their shift with a rapid positive. Mm -hmm. And so the whole staff came together to create this proposal for the owner asking for an immediate shutdown of no less than 30 days. And it's interesting because this is not, these are not shutdowns as we know, imposed by the county or brought on as part of a lockdown. These are bar owners listening to their employees who are concerned about their health and the health of, of uh, people and patrons who, who might come in, that they don't want them to catch this thing, even though if you're fully vaccinated by all accounts, uh, you get a mild case of it. You get flu, cold-like symptoms. Not the case with everyone, but the vast majority. But nonetheless, if this thing spreads like rapid fire and people are out sick, I mean, it is going to cause issues with work stoppages, productivity, businesses being crippled with a sick workforce, and this can go on for 10 days. That was uh, Alexandre's, by the way. Alexander's, yeah. That, he's, okay, yep. I see Alexandre's. it. Alexandre's. I know, it looks French, girl. Trust it's, me, I've it's never not. Been, is it not? Um, okay, well, Alexandre, in Alexandre. February, I look forward to dining with you and having a cocktail, or maybe a mocktail. It is know, actually, knows? really, you've got, um, you've got the Warwick Melrose Library Bar, but it really is a, a lounge, like a piano. Yeah, it is. And, and they get some great they get some great acts there. They so, do. Yeah, I mean it's in the neighborhood, but it's come one, come all, and it's an amazing um, little venue there. Other bars as well, the Hidden Door. Um, there's a long list of them in Deep mm -hmm. Ellum, Siblings Bar, mm -hmm. Armory DE, um, and the Ruins and Out yeah. shutdowns. Again, temporarily, same thing. Abundance of caution for their staff, for their guests. Their staff saying we're happy to do this, but impacting their bottom line and we've seen bars close as a result of of uh of covid to this point i know so it's like i guess you know a lot of people do dry january so here yeah. we are we're we're the whole city well, actually participating. It's, usually it's dry february because it's the shortest month of the year <laughs> <laughs> you always wait till february, wait Jenny, till february. my bad you know my two bad. three days less gosh over the